You hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? That's the sound of ESPN and FSN and these networks and these morning sports TV shows about the Redeem Team documentary that dropped on Netflix. I wonder why they've been so quiet about this documentary put together by Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Why have they been so mute ever since it dropped? Before it dropped, I know Skip and Shannon briefly talked about it because LeBron James was the headline. But ever since it dropped, and I know they watch, I know they watch, I know everybody on First Things First watched it. I know everybody on Undisputed watched it. I know everybody on First Take watched it. And I know all the guys in their in their headsets and their earpieces behind the scenes all watched it too. The directors, the producers. But not a word since the documentary came out. Not a murmur. Just. I wonder why that is. <laughs> this shit is sad, bro. This shit is so sad. So sad. You know why? I know why. And I And I haven't even watched it. And I said I wasn't going to watch it. Because I just knew that they were going to, in my, I thought they were going to paint a bad picture or an inaccurate picture of Kobe Bryant's impact on that team. The fact that Kobe Bryant was the best player at the time. The fact that Kobe was the leader of that team. The fact that Kobe led them and set the example. The fact that all these great players around him gravitated towards him and followed his lead. So I thought they were going to not properly portray the events that actually happened in reality. Come to find out, and I still haven't watched it, but come to find out that they did the complete opposite. They, I heard from people that have watched it, is that they painted Kobe Bryant in an accurate picture and paid homage to him. And, and laid everything out like it happened. Facts, for the most part, is what I heard. So I was pleasantly surprised. And that is why we have not heard a single thing from these networks because it does not fit their narrative of bow down to LeBron James and Kobe Bryant is highly overrated and garbage. It doesn't or uh, does not fit their narrative. That is why they have not brought it up. They don't want to talk about a single talking point because Kobe Bryant's fingerprints were all over that team and all over the outcome which was the gold medal they don't want to talk they don't want to talk about it boy it's a it's a damn shame it's a damn shame it's like it's like they it's like other players can't be great other players can't be great Besides LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Like other players can't be great. You, you can't talk about them. This fuck is up with this shit, bro. That's why they haven't mentioned it. That's exactly why they haven't mentioned it. Because they don't want to talk about it. They don't, they don't want to give the man his flowers and give him his props. Oh, they'll give him... They'll give him half a flower when he retires and then act like they love him when he passes away with all those fake tears half the niggas was throwing up. I want to hear that shit. Fake crying, fake emotion. I want to hear that shit. They, they don't, they, they don't want to get that man's props. It's a, it's a damn shame. They probably ain't never going to mention that damn documentary. If they haven't done it by now, I'm going to give them to the end of the week. I'm going to give them to Friday. Of course, they're going to use the excuse, well, well, the NFL season is, you know, we're, we're in the heat of the NFL season. And then you got the Draymond Green situation and Ime Udoka situation. That's taking up. I don't want to hear that shit. 
because damn well, if it was LeBron James who was the best player at the time, winning championships at the time, although Kobe Bryant won that championship the year after, but coming off a finals loss to face the league, if it was LeBron James in that same situation, they would have had four topics on that ass. They would have cut the Cowboys topics in half, the, the Cowboys and the Buccaneers talk topics up. It's like, we got to get this LeBron James redeem team for the jam. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get that in. We got to get that in. Come on, man. What are we talking about, bro? It's a damn shame how much they bash this man, how much they hate this man, how much they lie to the public, how much inaccurate information they put out, how much lack of context they put out when they talk about Kobe Bryant. But when they talk about other players, they want to give all the context in the world. All the context in the world. But when it comes to Kobe, there's no context involved. Zero. Forget the fact that he was injured his last three or four years. Forget the fact that he tore his Achilles. And after coming back from his tour Achilles, broke his knee and broke his shoulder and was a shell of himself. But before that happened, he was still one of the top players in the league at age 35, 34, 34, 35. Old man, they were calling him Vino. People totally forget. They was calling Kobe Vino. Nobody, we had never seen a player at his age perform at that level before. Like he was, he was not far off his prime. They was calling him Vino. Am I making this up? And he was still, D and Tony still had him guarding point guards and locking them up and playing point guard for Nash. Am I making this up? I don't know. Making it up. You could go look yourself. Single handedly carried that battered, injured, underachieving team into the playoffs. No play in. No play in. And then tore his Achilles in the process. Still walked back out on the court with a tore Achilles to hit two big free throws. But what are we talking about? And it was only because of that did his career start going downhill. Because he had plenty of good years left. But we ain't going to put that in context. You're just going to say he sucked and just fell off just by diminishing skill, not from attrition and injury. Come on, man. What are we talking about, bro? be killing me i'm giving them to goddamn friday to cover this damn redeem team documentary and 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 speak and truth and love about the black mamba but it doesn't fit their narrative that's why they've been zoop. i bet they was big mad i bet they was big mad when they when they lay down in bed had a nice little brew next to him, maybe some tea, some water, some lemonade. Hey, baby, ne next to the, hey, baby, come on, we're going to watch this documentary. Click. The horror in their eyes, the horror, the, 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 the sound bites that was coming in their ear, they couldn't take. They couldn't take the truth, and the truth hurts, Shannon Sharp. The truth hurts, Nick Wright. Chris Broussard. Malika Andrews, Stephen A., Max Kellerman, all y'alls. The truth hurts. It's okay. If people would just do their research for the people that haven't watched these, weren't around to watch it, or wasn't watching basketball at the time, or maybe you just forgot. If you do a little bit of research, you can see what the deal was. You ain't got to do much. You can see what the deal was. I remember everything. Shoot. Anyway. Yeah, where y'all at now? Crickets. Jiminy crickets. Worst kind of crickets. You the crickets. Y'all the crickets off Bugs Life, bro. Worst kind of crickets. Or were they grasshoppers? No, those were grasshoppers, right? <laughs> On Bugs Life? They, they was just ugly grasshoppers. They was grasshoppers, not crickets. They should have been crickets. They was grasshoppers, that's right. Yeah, anyway... Let me know what you think about it. Did you watch the Redeem Team documentary? I would love to hear your opinion on it as well. One of these days I watch it. I don't even have Netflix. I'll tell you, I ain't got Netflix. If I had Netflix, I probably would have watched it. Probably watch it today. I ain't got Netflix, bro. I cut all my streaming sources off. I was like, I ain't paying for none of this shit no more. I want to keep my money. Keep my money. Only thing I've got is HBO Max, and I get that free through my cable provider. So anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Justice for Kobe, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. We out, baby.